Greetings. Today we're here to talk about how to get uh, an IP camera to be connected over the internet via a small uh, VPN router or firewall device. In this particular demonstration, I'm using a small TrendNet four port VPN router. Speci specifically, this is the TW100BRV214 device. It's a small VPN router. It has uh, uh, basically four ports on the back with an internet port. So one port connects to the uh, internet connection or the outside network and four ports connect to the interior network. What I've done here is configured an IP-based camera. I've plugged that IP-based camera into the back of the uh, TrendNet uh, uh, router. Specifically, I've, I've plugged it into the internal ports of the router. And then I've plugged one connection uh, that's going to be my internet into my normal network. Now, to explain how this is going to work, basically what's happening is the TrendNet router's connection to my network has been configured with an IP address that we're going to publicly administer here in a minute. The camera itself has also been configured with an IP address. In this case, I let the camera just go ahead and get a, a dynamic IP address from the TrendNet device. The TrendNet device automatically sets up 192.168.10.0 uh, at slash 24 as its subnet range on the internal side of the network and automatically uh, uses DHCP. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interface. What you're looking at now is the TrendNet uh, device and I have uh, connected uh, via the web interface to the IP address 1.240. Now this is on my network and so if what we'll do is we'll take a look at uh, network settings and we'll have to log on. The default login is admin, by the way. And I'm going to choose manual configuration. It always asks when you first load the router. So I'm going to go to manual configuration, then I'll go to network settings. And you can see here the LAN address is 192.168.10. And, uh, and I've set the LAN address as 10.1. But I'm remoted into the WAN IP address, which I've set as 1.240. Now you can have the WAN address automatically get a dynamic IP address uh, if you want to, uh, such as from your ISP or your D uh, DSL provider or whatever the case may be. In this case, I've specified an IP address uh, for me to work this uh, demonstration with. Now, in order to do this, the best way to do this, if you have the ability, is to click uh, Virtual Computers. And in virtual computers, you would set up a global IP address. So this is a different IP address than the one that I'm using for the router itself. So in this case, I've added a second IP address, 1.241. You don't have to use a second IP address. You can actually use one of their forwarding rules to use the primary IP address. But I've noticed it's a lot cleaner and a lot easier to use a global outside IP address. So basically, I've set 1.241 to point to my interior IP address that I've set for that camera. In this case, that camera is 10.200. I've checked the enable box and then I've saved it. Now, when I go to forwarding rules, and I go to the virtual server section under forwarding rules, give it a second. Okay. So uh, notice that I've put that same IP address in. It's the, it's the outside IP address, the uh, virtual server address. And I've put the port that I want it to come in on. So basically, this is the outside port and then what inside port I want. And then I've changed the protocol to just TCP and I've enabled it. This automatically sets it to where it routes through. Now that I've done that, I should be able to connect to the IP address 192.168.1.241 on port 80. And that will automatically redirect it to the camera that you see behind me. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll show you. So here I've gone to HTTP 192.168.1.241. I've done so, and now I'm connected to that camera, and you can see me right here talking, hello, and this is the camera that I've connected to. You could, if you wanted to, change the ports. Most IP cameras have the ability to change the ports, and I'll go to the network mode here, 
and I believe under one of these tabs, general settings or maybe streaming protocols, I can change the port. Right here it's listening on port 80. I could, if I wanted to, adjust that to be a different port instead of using port 80 on the front end of the interface. By the way, if you did use the uh, global IP address of the VPN router, so in this case, if I use the 240 address, I probably would have to use a different port to connect to because I can't use the management port, port 80, of this device um, and also have that direct to the camera at the same time. Anyway, there you go. This is how you set up a camera to connect to uh, a VPN firewall device and to forward the traffic through so that you can visibly see your camera from the outside world. Thank you.